Hello everyone and welcome to PeopleSoft channel. In this episode, we are covering application engine programs in which we will see how to send emails in batch to multiple users using application engine programs. So in this episode, we will cover a use case in which we need to onboard multiple employees. Each employee will have a unique email address. So we will design an application engine program which will complete the employee's onboarding process and send a personalized onboarding email to each and every employee. Well, that's the agenda and without further delay, let's get started. For our use case, we have the employee onboard table which contains the list of employees who has recently joined the organization and we need to perform their onboarding. Now, since onboarding is pending for all the employees, all of them have the employee onboard status as P which means it is pending and they do not have any onboard date. Also, for each employee, we have their unique email address for communication purpose. So, we need to design an application engine program to complete their onboarding. In order to complete their onboarding, we need to update this onboard status from P to C. We need to provide current date as an onboarding date for each and every employee. And once we do that, we need to send a personalized email to their respective email addresses confirming that their onboarding is successful. So this is our use case which will require sending emails in batch to each and every employee for onboarding. So let's jump to application designer and start working on the application engine program. So this is our brand new application engine program. For this application engine, I have assigned this AET record as a state record to this application engine program because we are going to have multiple steps and we will need to pass some variables from one step to another. That's the reason I have assigned this record with these three variables as a state record. So if we think about our use case, we need to do the row by row processing. This is because for each employee, that means for each row, we need to grab the employee's email address and send a specific personalized email to this particular employee. And since we need to do row by row processing, we will go with the do select action. So let's add our first action. This will be the do select action. So this is the select statement which we will use in do select action. What we are doing here is we are taking the employee ID, employee name and email ID from our onboarding table and we are assigning these value and we are storing these three values into the state record using this percent select metasql and we are only considering those employees who have not yet been onboarded. That means on board status is equal to P. So this is our first action. Next, we will add another action and this will be a SQL action. For our SQL action, this will be the SQL which we will execute. So what we are doing here is we are updating the employee on board table. We are setting the employee on board status is equal to C to complete their onboarding. And then we are updating the employee onboard date to our current date because we are performing the onboarding today. And the criteria we are giving is we are obtaining the employee ID from the state record field. That's why we are using this percent bind operator. And we are considering only those employees whose onboard status is pending. So this will be SQL for our SQL action. Now to send an email, we will need a people code action because we need to use the send mail function which is delivered by people so so let's add one people code action so this is the people code to send an email to each and every employee so don't worry about the people code this is a very simple people code let me quickly explain you the same 
first we are declaring all the variables that we will need to send an email such as the cc list to list this is a list subject titles mail text etc you can think of these variables as a building blocks of your email next we are defining all the variables that means we are assigning values to variables for example we will need to send an email saying hello space employee name for example hello kevin peter so in this case we are obtaining the employee name from the state record field now for the to list that means to whom should we send the email we are obtaining the email address from the employee again from the state record field we do not need to copy anyone in this email since these are blank and we have this and we have defined our custom email signature which we will combine in the email body next we are giving the subject as onboarding confirmation and this will be the mail body which is nothing but the actual confirmation of the email here we are saying hello space the employee name and then we are just saying that the congratulations you are onboarding it's successful again we do not have any attachment since these couple of parameters will be blank and then finally we are using the send mail function so this is the magic function which will send the email from your peoplesoft smtp server to the respective employee email address so for the send mail function we are passing all the variables that we have declared and defined above so that's how it will work and send mail we send the email so once the send mail function is executed it will generate an integer code it can be zero or it can be non zero which we are capturing in the written code variable now what is the significance of the written code if the written code is zero that means the send mail function was able to successfully send the email to the respective email address and hence in this case we will show an message in the log message saying that email was sent to this particular email address however if there is any issue for example the smtp server is not responding or the smtp server is not able to reach the email address or there can be any technical error which might have prevented the smtp server send mail function from sending the email if that is the case the send mail function returns e non zero code which we will check here if the return code is not equal to zero then display the message in the log message saying that there is some issue with this error code then please check your message log so this is the program to send an email and since we are using the do select action this program will run for each and every employee id that's why we will send emails in batch to multiple employees and now let's add one final action which will be a log message action which will include a message in the log message saying that the employee onboarding is successful for this employee so let's add another action this will be the log message action for log message action we need to provide message set number message number and parameters hence we have already created a message set number 21002 and message number 1 which will display a message employee percent 1 dash percent 2 on board it successfully now these are the dynamic parameters where percent 1 will be replaced with employee id and percent 2 will be replaced with employee name so let's use this message set number and message number message set number is 21002 message number is 1 and for dynamic parameter or false parameter will be employee id which we can obtain from the state record hence percent by employee id and the second parameter will be employee name hence percent by employee name so this is our application engine program let's save our application engine so for testing our application engine program we will use the email addresses of the first two users first is this john gwen 
and he has an email address of john.gwing gmail.com. If we see the same email address, john.gwin121 at the gmail.com, his mailbox is empty. Similarly, the second account that we will test is Kevin Marsh. Now, Kevin Marsh has this email address, peoplesop, dummy email server at the gmail.com. And if we check, this is the second email address for Kevin Marsh. And as you can see, his mailbox is also empty. So now, Let's run our application engine program to see if the onboarding is successful and if both of these employees receive the email. So this is our application engine program. Let's select this. Let's click on OK. Let's go to process monitor and let's wait for the program to complete. Program is successful and posted. Now, let's first rerun our select statement to see if the data has been updated. And as we can see, the application engine has completed the onboarding process and it has also assigned current date as the onboarding date for all the employees. Now, if we come back to the process log, let's click on details, let's click on message log. And as we can see, we can check the logs saying that email sent to John dot gwin one to one at the gmail.com and also this message comes from the lab message saying employee one zero 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 one dash john gwin onboarded successfully and we have received this for all the five employees now the final part have we received the email so first employee is john gwin if we check the mailbox we have successfully received a new email which says, hello, John Gwynn, congratulations, your onboarding is completed successfully. Similarly, second employee is Kevin Marsh. So let's check this Gmail account for Kevin Marsh. And as we can see, we have successfully received a new email from the dummy server saying, hello, Kevin Marsh, congratulations, your onboarding is completed successfully. So that's how we can send multiple emails in batch using the application engine program all right guys that's it for today's episode if you found this episode helpful in understanding how to send bulk emails using the application engine program then please hit the like button as it really motivates us to create such content and if you are interested into more such people's of content then please subscribe to people's channel thank you